getting around memory mixer is very easy. Over to the left, we have our tools drawer. So we have backgrounds, and inside you will find all the different background options. Photo layouts, this allows you to arrange photos on your page. This gives you an assistance for laying out your photos if you like. We have our edit photo, and this is where you might change a photo to black and white, um, add other photos, zoom in. In we have embellishments. This is where you'd go to find your embellishments to add to a page. Here's where you do your text where you can add your titles and journaling. Our shapes. This allows you to add shapes to your page. Here's where you'll add your music and narration. This is your video and multimedia tools drawer. And then here's all the different options that you can share your album. Remember, with Memory Mixer, you only need to create one album, then you can share it many ways, including print at home to your favorite print services, create a photo book, export to JPEGs, create a digital album that you can play on other computers, make a movie which is perfect for a blog or a website, or burn a DVD that you can watch on your TV. Along the top here, we have shortcuts to tools that are very useful. If you hover over them, their little tagline will pop out. So create a new album, open an existing album, save an album, preview an album, print, cut selected object, here's also copy, paste copied object offset or paste copied object in the exact same place, your spell checker, undo, my favorite, redo, add a page, add a photo or graphic, add an embellishment, add text, add movie, add a hotspot or a link, Add a shape, add music, and then your layering button. So bring an object forward or backward. This here allows you to change an object layer. This here will align objects. This turns your grid on and off. This turns your ruler on and off. And this is where you'd find help with Memory Mixer. Along the top, you also have your file menus. <clears throat> Under help is where you'll check for updates. This will take you to our website and see if there's been any new updates for Memory Mixer. This is the user's guide. It is a very user-friendly help menu that you can use. Interactive. And over here, we have our photo panel. This is new in version 3, and I just love it. You'll click here, browse if you want to go to um, look for other photos to have in your panel. And you will find more information for these tool drawers in other tutorials.